Yo guys, what is going on Timperson? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Yeah. yeah. Rappers try to brag about accomplishments, but nothing you've been dropping yet astonishes. Yeah. yeah. Next shit so I'm in watch. today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a cool YouTube thumbnail background that I use on my YouTube thumbnails. I did make a video on how to make the text. So I'll be showing you how to make that in the background, which will go with it. It's like a really cool, vibrant, like electric style. And you can just see from the thumbnails that I've been doing recently. That's the style that I'm going to be showing you how to make. And yeah, this was suggested by one of you guys again. So make sure you keep leaving them in the disc in the uh, comments and I will probably end up using them. So yeah, keep leaving them comments, guys. And also hit the like button on this video. 100 likes would mean a lot, guys. That'll be sick. Subscribe if you are new. And yeah, with that all being said, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so we're here in Photoshop, so the first thing you're going to need to do is get a picture um, for the thumbnail. This is one that I've used before. So what we like first, like the first thing we're going to do is just go over to the quick selection tool. Make sure it's on this plus and you want to just highlight um, yourself. Um, just like so, just highlight it. Shouldn't take too long. Like so, I'm, it's not going to be perfect. And then if it does go over like that, just go to the minus um, brush and just click and it should bring it back, creating that nice outline. Next thing, you want to go to select a mask and you just mess around with these just so it creates a nice um, border. Not so it, you don't want it to be too sharp, but you don't want it to be too blurred at the same time. So that looks fine to me. Then come down, go to output settings, change it to new layer and press OK. So now if you just delete that one, You've got yourself right there. So now I'm going to um, choose a colour and um, you can choose whatever colour you want. I'm going to go with uh, a blue colour and then I'm going to press all backspace to fill it in. Um, and yeah, that's looking pretty nice. Next thing we're going to do is go to the brush tool, go to white and behind yourself, you just want to add a spot of white and change that to overlay. Add a new layer, go to black. Make the brush smaller. To make the brush spot smaller, press Ctrl Alt, right click and move left or right. And then I'm just gonna click over this way and down there as well. And then bring down the opacity of that. Next thing, open up my 27K GFX pack. Um, you guys will probably have this. <laughs> So yeah, um, just open up that pack and cancel that. You want to go over to hide and then go down to colored lights and choose one of these. I'm just going to go with this one. Just like that. Um, I'm just going to choose this and it's just adding something else to the background. Um, so it's not just like a solid color. You've got more of um, some shapes to it, if you know what I mean. It just looks a lot better and what you want to do is just scroll through the different layer styles and choose one that you think looks good. So maybe that and then bring down the opacity of it. So yeah, next thing you're going to need to do is um, I'll leave a pack in the description um, and it's got all different electric um, patterns. Um, no, not patterns, stock story like this one here, you got that, and yeah, I'll put in quite a few for you guys. So you just want to put this one in. Um, you don't have to, but um, this is the one that I use, and choose between any of these, light and screen, color dodge. I think I'll probably stick with, um, I'll stick with lighten, no, color dodge. I do like color dodge, um, but anyway, next, go over to this one right here, it's like, big streak of light and then change it to one that you like. Lighten looks okay to me and then I might move it down here and then press Control J JT uh, right click and put one like down there. Next thing file place and um, I'm gonna use this one this little I don't know what to call it, it's a thin streak, and I'm gonna set that to lighten, and I'm gonna put it, um, yeah, set that to lighten, 
I'm going to put that over the top of me so it looks like it's in front and behind um, and then I'll duplicate it, flip horizontal, put that one like up there. I didn't duplicate it so I'll do that again. Just mess around, I think that looks alright. So now you've got all of that, what you want to do is add a new layer, go to brush, choose the colour you're using and then just click in certain places and change that to colour dodge and it just brightens things up and adds a bit of a glow to the electric. Next thing, just brighten some contrast, bring the brightness down, contrast up, colour curves, bring that up and bring that down. Exposure, bring up the exposure, bring up the offset a bit, bring up the gamma correction. And then colour balance, choose like, move it over to the colour you're using, so blue for me, something like that. And then bring the colour balance below everything else. Group that together, you can see, blends everything together very nicely. And I'm going to add a new layer and then at the top I'm going to add a spot of white. I don't actually think I'm directly in the centre. Um, I'm just going to move it over a little bit. That looks alright. Um, and then you can also add other things such as like um, a border around the outside. Um, like if you create a rectangle and set that to overlay and then do the same at the bottom that also looks good and um, you can also if you go down to the bottom over the top of the blue maybe if you change it to like purple so say if you're using red maybe, maybe choose like an orange or if you're using like green maybe like a light blue so I'm choosing like a purpley colour, I'm going to drag at the bottom and I'm just going to scroll through these. Um, maybe a bit, a bit more of a darker blue, I think I'll choose. Just going to delete that later, add a new one, change it to more of a purpley colour. Maybe I'll do it at the top instead. It's got like purple at the top, and I'll just scroll through and choose one of these. Probably say colour looks okay, and then just bring down the opacity of it. Just makes it just switches it up a little bit but yeah that's pretty much it for how I make my thumbnails and then once I've done that I usually add some really nice text I did do a tutorial on it in my last video and it looks really really nice and it fits really well with this theme and yeah if you want to see more tutorials like this hit the like button can we break a hundred likes that would be sick I will leave a pack full of these electric stocks for you guys in the description so leave a like for that let me know what video you'd like to see from me next I'm always reading the comments and like I said this was suggested by one of you guys like all my other videos so yeah if you guys want a chance to be featured on the channel well one of your ideas then make sure you leave it in the comments subscribe if you are new and i hope you're all having a sick day today and i'll see you in the next video